Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at waterfalls. So this is how a waterfall is going to form. So a waterfall forms when there's a sudden change in the gradient of the river. Now what you can see now is a cross profile of the river bed. Now normally, this is where the water will run. It's going to run on top of the bed. And the bed is this part here. Now you can see that part of the bed consists of hard rock, and the rest of it consists of soft rock. What happens is that over time the soft rock is more easily eroded so as you can see the hard rock is resistant to it. As a result the hard rock stays where it is and the water actually erodes more of the soft rock. So as a result we get this nice slope down here. Then the water then begins to erode the rocks even more and we begin to get a small overhang over here. So this small overhang then kind of has some rocks which may fall down and they can be located around this area. But what it really means is that now we get a plunge ball. So the water that comes down then comes over the overhang and then may splurt over here and we get a plunge pool of water down below. And then the river will continue to go along the bed to whichever part it's going to head to downstream. So as a result with this more and more erosion the plunge pool gets even bigger and now all this area is where water is going to be falling and the overhang is now much more exaggerated so this big block of the hard rock now is still hasn't been eroded because it's more resistant and as a result we have a lot more area where in the soft rock where it's getting eroded the problem with this now is that eventually the soft rock isn't going to be able to hold the hard rock up and gravity is going to pull the hard rock down and it's going to fall at the bottom of the soft rock and the bottom of the bed. So what can we actually see from this? Well now we have a waterfall because the water can head over the hard rock and then fall downwards onto the soft rock and there's a big step probably right about here where the waterfall is coming down on. So as a result this is what a waterfall then looks like. Now, just so that we can be clear, this is a transition of the hard rock overhang, which is around here, turning into the waterfall. So here the river is coming down and creating a splash pool or a plunge pool over here. And then eventually, gravity is going to remove the extra bit that was used to be located here, and it's going to fall down, leaving space for the water to then come down. And hence, we have a formation of a waterfall. Here are some questions for you to answer about the formation of waterfalls. Be sure to answer these on another sheet of paper and pause the video to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of meanders. As always, visit revisealevel.co.uk or check out the channel's playlist for more help with your A-level subjects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.